So hello to everyone who um, is here. Um, we're hoping we have an audience of our, of our family and friends and maybe some people who have dropped by who are part of the Folk Alliance um, event. It's very exciting to be part of this. It's our first time ever doing a Folk Alliance event. Um, so here it is virtually. We didn't have to travel anywhere. Um, so uh, we are Eloise and Company, and uh, this is Rachel Bell, and I am Becky Tracy. And um, we often work with a guitar player, but um, we often also often work just as a duo. And our company tonight is uh, <laughs> Pandemic Panda. He has been with us throughout the pandemic, so we have kept good company. He's a wonderful dance partner, mm -hmm. and. Um, and also, uh, um, he appreciates everything we do, I guess, because <laughs> he never complains. He's very cheerful. <laughs> so, um, ready? I think we're ready to go. All right. Thank you. 
Thanks, everybody. It's really fun to see our our uh, our room full of people start filling up as you all arrive. It's so nice to have you here. Um, you know, one of the best parts about getting to do something like this is it gives us a chance to gives us an excuse to rehearse. Um, yeah, and <laughs> that is one of our greatest joys in life is rehearsing together. And that tune that I that we uh, we just played is one I wrote called. Well, the original title was Eloise Rehearsal Induced Euphoria. Wish we could bottle that stuff. I'm glad you have as much trouble with that <laughs> title as I do. <laughs> and so <laughs> upon Becky's recommendation, we shortened the title to Wish I Could Bottle That Stuff. Or actually Bottle, bottle This, this stuff. stuff. You're right. <laughs> uh, and... Um, and what we wish for you is that in spite of all the really difficult things going on right now, that you just find those like little moments, whatever they are, and that you can just kind of bottle them up and hold them on for later, hold on to them for later and keep them with you to, to cheer you up when you need it. And one of the, one of the, um, tunes that has without fail always cheered me up is the second tune in this next set which is a tune that my husband Keith Murphy wrote, and it, which is called Dress Back. So we'll play Toward Romance into Dress Back. Thank you. 
to ride. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. So we're going to um, switch paces a little bit, slow down a little bit, and we're going to play, um, sing a song that comes from pretty close to here, sung in Vermont. It's a version of a song sung all over the place. Um, it's called Cambric Shirt, and I got it from the singing of Margaret MacArthur, who used to live just up the hill here in Marlboro, Vermont. Um, so there's um, there's a chorus. It's actually sort of a refrain. So one of us will sing, dum ba da 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 dum ba ba, and then sing with us, blow 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 you winds oh. And then one of us will sing da 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 bum ba da da da, and then sing the winds may blow your plaid away. And that word is plaid, as in cambric shirt. <clears throat>
So next we're going to we're going to uh, play a tune that's an answer to a frequent question. <laughs> a lot of times we get asked, "Who is Eloise?" And uh, the answer is uh, both of us actually. So when we um, when we formed the band and we were we were um, casting about for band names, uh, we were already playing a lot of French music. And Becky brought me this list of options, just French words that she liked. So there were like French flower names and French food names and um, and and French, just all these different words. And she loved the word Eloise. And I said, absolutely not. I cannot be in a band called Eloise because my middle name is Louise. And I said, my middle name is Louise too. And then, <laughs> and then Rachel changed her mind in seconds. <laughs> Immediately, we had to be <laughs> Eloise because we have matching matching middle names, and um, and then we have these guitar players who don't have Louise as their middle name, so they had to be the Anne's Company, or in this case, Panda. And Panda. <laughs> so I wrote this tune for Becky, and it's called Eloise.
beautiful tune. Rachel, it's a lot of really beautiful tunes and she has been working on and off throughout the pandemic to collect all her tunes into a book. So it's we're true. hoping that that shows up sometimes in the next 10 years. No, <laughs> <laughs> hopefully before then. <laughs> So uh, it was it was about almost exactly one year ago um, that we were on stage with Bethany Wakeman in our at our local great wonderful uh, dance at the Guiding Star Grange in Greenfield, and um, and it's amazing for us to think about that. It was a week. It was exactly a year ago this past weekend. So we're going to play a couple of dance tunes as a shout out to our, our friends and dancers um, that we would see on a regular basis all over the country, but especially at the Guiding Star Grange. Yeah, we miss you all. And there are a lot of you here. <laughs> I see that. A lot of them are here. So Yay! thanks. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Thanks, everybody. Uh, we're going to go right on into another of our favorite styles of dancing. We love ball folk dancing from France. And, uh, and we've had many wonderful memories of playing for dancing um, in that style. So we're going to play some extremely gritty uh, borets that we like to call the industrial borets, <laughs> just because that's what they You'll became. You'll see. You'll see why. <laughs> And, uh, and we would like to imagine in our, in our minds that you are dancing a boree in your kitchen or your living room. Um, for those of you who haven't seen a boree before, or danced one before, it's a lively partner dance from central France with a lot of opportunity for um, improvisation. It's a good thing no one is dancing one in here right now because... No. This is... <laughs> there are wires <laughs> everywhere. Wires everywhere and things like perched on in very precarious <laughs> ways.
Um, this next piece um, I'm sending out to my sister Ruthie and her husband Dave and it's the waltz chili and chocolate. Feel free to waltz about if you have the space. In fact, is one of the uh, cuts you can find on our CD. I was just going to say that. We have a CD. <laughs> it's called More Please. Exactly. Um, we have a habit of saying things like More Please. <laughs> After rehearsals or walks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or just a time through a tune. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, um, so with the idea of More Please, we're going to go on and play some more. Um, uh, it, so back in March, everybody has their March story, their last gig story. And we happen to be in Quebec, also with Bethany, Bethany Wakeman. And, um, we played one of our gigs and then, um, the government said no more. And so, uh, we were not exactly trapped up in Quebec, <laughs> but... We decided to stay an extra day and uh, we were invited to record. Nicholas Williams invited us to record in his studio. So we um, 
we recorded this next track with Bethany and we mm -hmm. put it up on Bandcamp where you can find it just as a, a little a little track, one little track. And it's called um, New Moon Meadow and Kenneth Murphy. Snowplow just came through at that very moment. I think it was supposed to come through during the industrial bores earlier. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it missed the memo. No one told the snowplow. <laughs> we have another song that we would love for you to sing along with us on. Um, I used to live in Pennsylvania until I needed to move here to live up the street from Becky. <laughs> and at a certain point in time, oh, that's nice. Can you all hear that? The beeping, the snow plow sounds are intensifying. <laughs> yep. Um, so there was a certain point in time when we were both into finding songs from where we're from or from places we'd lived. Um, and so I went into this deep dive of, um, <laughs> that's very distracting, beep, beep, of, of Pennsylvania folk songs from a singer named Vivian Richmond. And uh, this song is called I'm a Beggar, and it's about seeing need in the world and feeling need in the world. And it felt really, it felt really relevant a number of years ago when I learned it. And it's just getting more and more relevant um, in this time we're in right now. So I do hope you'll sing along um, your part. Lord, you know I am 
poor. So you can practice that. Lord, you know no, I am poor, but I'm knocking at your door. But I'm knocking at your door. Please don't drive me away. Please don't drive me away. Please drive that dump truck. <laughs> Snowplow. <laughs> Was playing the octave fiddle on that, which is a, a fiddle tuned down an octave, a, a sound that we enjoy very much. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's just it's just a regular old fiddle, and just with a bunch of octave strings on it, a set of octave strings. 
you can change any cheap fiddle that you have into an octave fiddle if you want. Something fun to play with if you have just your one little, you know, violin to play. Um, gives you a whole different sound. So we want to, we love playing for um, ball folk dancing. And um, so we thought we'd give you a sampler of some of that music. We're going to start with a Scottish that comes from Saint Malo, so sort of right on the border of Brittany and uh, Normandy, and then move deep into Brittany for a hunter drow, which is a dance done in long knot lines. It's sort of hypnotic. It's often, um, I've been actually been glued to various YouTube dances um, that are in like these hmm. massive stadiums full of people dancing these interweaving lines of hunterdros and andros. It's hard to believe that people were doing that over a year ago, but that's what they were <laughs> It'll doing. It'll happen again. <laughs> It'll happen again. Um, so the hunterdro, and then um, our final tune will be a bourre from the central French region, and um, uh, that one... Is that name the one that is hard to remember? Yeah, I think both of the hunter, the hunter drill and the, it's like Montagnard. Yeah. The something. something. <laughs> so <Sorry>. we, <laughs> it, as, as a result of those difficult names and also the, the moving around of France, we call this set the Tour de France, and we just forget about all the names. Please dance along with us. If you don't know the dances, make them up. <laughs> Thank you. 
we're moving around. So there's a beautiful um, snow out there. Oh. We somehow managed to be right on the edge, I think, of, of snow um, all day long, just a little bit. It's all, it's painting everything. Mm. The trees, there's all, the, there's white everywhere out there. So just about the right time. Yeah, because we're going to play Snowshoe, which is our, our one of our other <laughs> greatest joys in life, <laughs> rehearsing and snowshoeing. Um, the pandemic does have its silver linings. And we've had some absolutely amazing, stunning experiences being out in the woods on snowshoes. And the first time I ever tried snowshoeing was when we were on tour in Western Pennsylvania and our wonderful hosts for the house concert we were playing, Martha and Dave, they, um, they loaned us snowshoes and took us out into the woods behind their house. And it was unforgettable. It was just this beautiful, like magical, sparkly winter wonderland. So I wrote this tune snowshoe, um, for them. And, um, it turns out it's like, maybe like one of our theme songs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and if you're a, um, a ball folk dancer, you can dance a gavat de leven to this. So we're going to end 
with one last piece, um, a, a rond, a rond de Saint Vincent, which is a really fun Breton dance. And um, if, you're, if it's not a dance that you know, you can actually join in your chairs with a it's a the footsteps are like a grapevine step in a circle usually it's really fun we have the ball dc dancers in our heads every time we play this yeah, we, we miss we you have all <laughs> an image of mm-hmm. of you dancing this so thank you all for showing up and we will, after this, sit down and enjoy reading through what you had to say to each other while we were playing away. Yeah, and it was really um, fun to glance over and see all those see comments the comments happening. going by. <laughs> yeah. So again, we're glad you're here. Glad for the Folk Alliance to put mm-hmm. on this event. So we had an excuse to play. Yeah. And we'll end with these. Um, roll. And do we have anything else to say? Um, well, one thing I was thinking, uh, you, you definitely check out the rest of the stuff that's going on during this um, Folk Alliance conference. And uh, my friend Alex coming helped me a lot to figure out uh, the YouTube live stream and all that stuff. And he has a set with his bandmate Wednesday morning. It's breakfast music, 9 a.m., I think, Eastern time. Alex, you can chime in if I'm wrong. Um but yeah, check out check out what else is going on. And we'd love if you would stay in touch with us. Um, these tunes that we're about to play uh, were were reminding us of <laughs> that that Breton thing. We had we had a a little holiday a month ago or so, Crep Day. Yeah, we celebrated <laughs> Crep Day, which is a, a a verifiable holiday in France on uh, the second of february groundhog day but no crep day we celebrated crep day so we made crepes and played (laughs) tunes played tunes and if you'd like to kind of keep up with whatever um whatever fun we're having and whatever adventures we're sharing with the world um do find us on facebook uh eloise and company and uh and say hello and um yeah we we hope to see you out there in the world you know when when in-person dances and concerts resume. But for now, we're just really glad that you were here um, in the living room with us. (laughs) Thanks for coming.
ending on our happy tunes. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, everyone.